Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. And in this quick guitar tricks, we're looking at pick cradling. Cool. So, what's pick cradling? <laughs> Not exactly that. It's cradling the pick in between your fingers. So some of you might prefer to go in between your first finger and your thumb. So you're basically holding it in here. I, I find this is a bit limiting. I can't move my index finger quite as much. So what I tend to do is opt to cradle it underneath uh, my middle finger a bit like this. You could also try cradling it under your third finger, under your little finger, or even under your thumb if you could get it there. And yeah, that's all fine and well, but what use is this other than being able to say, oh, I can cradle a pick? There are actually quite a lot of applications. So the first one that springs to mind is if you want to switch between picking and finger style. <laughs> For the shredders out there who, much like myself, don't really like tapping with the middle finger, this is a fantastic way of switching between picking and tapping. For those who are more inclined to the funky side of things, you can mix up doing rhythms or kind of silly things with a little bit of slap as well. Strumming with your fingers can produce a really nice soft dynamic and texture, and rather than doing the old pick of the mouth trick, which is sometimes a bit cumbersome to get back, you can just cradle it. Another one that springs to mind here is if you're doing all left hand legato and you want to mute the strings with your right hand. You can hold the pick here, but I find the strings ring out a bit more and it's a bit sloppier. Again, this is a situation where I go for the cradle. And finally, tapped harmonics like that last note in the example there. A bit like tapping, I just find I have a bit more control and accuracy if I use my index finger as opposed to my middle, uh, third or fourth. Perhaps the best thing about pick cradling is how you can practice it. You can do it just when you're jamming, you just switch between these two grips. And the other thing is if you're watching TV or Netflix, you can just sit and fiddle with your plectrum. You don't need to like dedicate time to do it because it's just a small little exercise. You know, if you've got like five minutes downtime, if you're waiting for the kettle to boil, If you're waiting for your bread to come out the toaster. Or if you've got five minutes with nothing to do, you can just practice pit cradling. It's a really stupidly simple thing to do, but it can really open up your playing to a whole different feel because you're more comfortable to switch between different techniques and exercises without having to think about it too much. It just becomes like quite, you know, like learning chords after a while, it's just muscle memory. It's the exact same thing with pit cradling. But yeah, this has been Quick Tricks. This is hopefully a very quick one indeed. That's the playlist there. And if you've got no interest in pick cradling or indeed playing with a pick and want to learn some Jeff Beck finger style licks with a whammy bar, check out this video. If you've enjoyed this, hit subscribe, share, like, and enable notifications with that little bell on the side if you feel so inclined. Cheers, guys. <laughs>